Hello, my name is Addie. Thank you for joining me for this gentle, low to the ground practice. It can be done on a mat, or it can be done on a paddle board, like I am. But full disclosure, I am not certified in stand up paddle board yoga, just yoga. So you can take this practice and find a place for it just about anywhere. Today I come to you from Turkey Creek in Hollister. So let's find a comfortable seat that can be anywhere that the spine can find length. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, sigh it out through the mouth. Just letting go of anything that's not on your mat or on your board. Let those eyes drift closed. Inhale, grow the crown of the head tall. Exhale, root into your surface. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, sink. Allowing the breaths to become deeper and slower. Perhaps imagining that you're floating on the creek on a beautiful fall day. It's the beginning of fall, so the leaves are still mostly green with a few golden hints of what's to come. The sun is hot and the air is cool and they meet right on your skin. We'll drop the chin to, chin to the chest and begin to find some gentle movement, allowing the chin to rock gently between the shoulders. Let the right ear reach to the right shoulder and extend the left arm long. Maybe find some movement in the left wrist and the left fingers. Drop the chin to the chest. Bring that left hand to stillness. Left ear reaches for the left shoulder and this time Find some movement in the right hand and in the right fingers. And the fingers come to stillness, drop the chin to center, and he'll reach the arms overhead. Touch the fingertips with the palms. Exhale, send them down. Inhale to reach and rise. Kiss the fingertips with the palms. Exhale, radiate. Find that movement one more time. Reaching to the sky. And exhale, send those palms down. We'll pause here, change the cross of the leg. Find that tall spine once again and with an inhale, draw the shoulders to meet the ears and squeeze. Exhale, release. 
Inhale, shoulders up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Exhale, roll them down. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale to twist to the left, dropping the hands where they land. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, look over the left shoulder. Exhale, release the twist. Inhale, reach to the sky. And with the exhale, find the twist to the right. Hands fall, press into the earth. Grow tall, inhale. Exhale, gazes over the right shoulder. And release the chin. Release the body. We'll take our feet out in front of us, bringing the soles of the feet together, allowing the knees to fall apart for butterfly pose. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. And exhale, fold forward. Lead with the heart. When the hands reach the ground, inhale to half lift. And then exhale to fold a little deeper. Round the shoulders, drop the head. Press in with the hands and with an inhale, help yourself back to upright. Close the knees. Dropping the hands behind the hips and maybe finding a gentle windshield wiper. If you happen to be on a paddle board, you have need to counterbalance your knees with your body as you find that windshield wiper shape. Stopping there. Let's extend the legs out straight. Inhale, reach to the sky. And exhale, fold forward, leading with the heart. Half lift and fold, round the shoulders, drop the head. Take those hands and walk them back with an inhale. Drop them behind the hips, fingers forward, and bring the soles of the feet to the surface. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, tighten the core, roll back on the hands, lift the feet, modified boat pose. Staying here or coming up on five fingertips, one fingertip, Extend the arms and legs for boat pose. One more breath. Come on down. Extend the legs long. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to half lift. Exhale, fold. Round the shoulders. Drop the hips. Walk the palms back. Feet to the mat, knees to the sky, dropping the hands behind the hips. Deep inhale. Exhale, activate the core, roll back onto the hands, lift the feet, modified boat pose, and maybe five fingertips, one fingertip. Extend, boat pose. Shine the heart. Maybe the legs extend long. Bring the feet down, 
Extend the legs long. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Walking the palms back. This time bend just the right leg. You can bring the foot to the inside of the left leg or you can cross it over the left leg, whichever feels best to you. We'll take the left arm and reach it around the right knee. Inhale, reach the right arm up and back and take the gaze over the right shoulder. Finding half Lord of the Fishes. Maybe that twist is not comfortable. An alternative is to wrap both arms around the right knee. And instead of twisting, think about drawing the knee towards the sternum, sternum towards the knee, maybe taking the gaze over the right shoulder. exhale we'll release the twist let the right leg fall open so the knee falls towards the earth left leg is still extended inhale reach to the sky and exhale fold forward right over that left leg lead with the heart half lift and then fold and round Walk the palms back, bring yourself upright. Inhale, reach to the sky. This time slide the left arm to the inside of the left leg and reach the right arm overhead, big side stretch. to rise. We'll help the right leg straighten out and repeat that sequence with the left leg bent. So draw the left leg to the inside of the right, bending the knee, either bringing it to the inside or stepping it across the right leg, whatever feels best to you. We can wrap the right arm around the left leg and then reach the left arm around and back, taking the gaze over the left shoulder. Or we can simply wrap that left arm around the left leg too. Draw the knee towards the sternum, sternum towards the knee, so pulling yourself upward with each inhale. Exhale, we'll release the twist. Drop the left knee towards the surface. Basically finding a half butterfly shape. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, fold forward over the right leg. Press into the mat, half lift. And exhale, fold. Round to the shoulders, drop the head.
With an inhale, walk the palms back. Bring yourself upright. Inhale, reach to the sky. And then allow the right hand to slide on the inside of the right leg with the exhale. Left arm reaches over. Inhale to rise. And we'll unfold the left leg. Finding yourself in the center of the surface, let's go ahead and bring the back body to the earth. Drawing the knees into the chest, hug them in. Maybe find a little movement, maybe stillness. Release the arms wide or maybe overhead. If you're on a board, that might be your better option. And then reach the feet to the sky for waterfall pose. Again, stillness or maybe movement. Maybe you wiggle the toes, roll the ankles. Again, movement or stillness, that's up to you. Helping the soles of the feet to come together, the knife edges of the feet reach, or your mat or your board. Let the knees fall open wide, arms reach overhead. Maybe the cactus, maybe the elbows bend, and you bring your fingers and tips together. So the arms and legs mirror one another. any final movements or postures that your body's asking for on your way to your final Shavasana, allowing the benefits of the practice to integrate within the body, the mind, and the heart. Letting go of control of the breath, letting go of control of the body nothing to do, just be. The next time you hear my voice, I'll be gently awakening you from your Shavasana. Just let
beginning to bring your awareness to the breath. Allowing the inhales and exhales to flow through the nose. Keeping the eyes closed. Bring your awareness to the surface on which you lie. Bring your awareness to the clothes that are touching the body. Maybe feel the breeze on the skin. Next inhale, allow it to be so big that it reaches to the tips of the toes and the fingertips and you begin to wiggle. Exhale through the crown of the head and find a side to side motion with the neck, rocking the head from side to side. Allow your movements to become larger. Eventually, maybe you stretch long or maybe you curl into a little ball. Rolling to the side of the body when you're ready, either side. Draw the knees up towards the chest in that fetal position and give yourself gratitude for practicing, for being here just for you. When you're ready and not a moment sooner, press in with the hands and help yourself to an upright seat. I thank you so much for practicing with me today, for sharing your love and light. It's been my honor. Until next time, namaste.